I'm Donna Barnes at the Oil Museum of Canada here in Oil Springs, Ontario. We're about 30 minutes uh, south of Sarnia. This is the site of the first commercial oil well in North America. They didn't know what to do with it at first. It was sold to another fellow, Mr. Williams, and he decided to um, make that oil into kerosene. Uh, he refined it and he sold the kerosene and that was in 1858. So we preceded Titusville by one year. The museum got started 1957 or 58 and by 1960 they had the doors opened and it was full of artifacts from the area and people would just bring everything that they thought should be in the museum. The first wells, they were just dug 14 feet into the ground, but then the oil started seeping into that well and they were able just to bail it out and uh, then refine it. Uh, they did drill deeper later on, uh, just using a spring pole drilling rig method, which was a uh, percussion type where they just stepped on a piece of wood and uh, dropped the drill bit down into the rock. They also found oil in Bothell and Petrolia, and Bothell is uh, about half an hour south of here, and Petrolia is just uh, north of here, about 15 minutes. And so the boom here in Oil Springs didn't last very long, and at the same time when it was dwindling, uh, petroleum was coming in and the wells that they were finding in petroleum were much larger and, would, and lasted much longer. So petroleum really uh, built up and uh, they had huge mansions. There was uh, uh, lots of houses that the oil men lived in that were grand. Uh, when you first come to the museum, you can watch a video. It's 12 minutes. It gives a really good background of the, how the oil was found here in Oil Springs. And, uh, and then it outlines the drillers that went to other uh, countries in the world to drill for oil. They were called the uh, foreign drillers. They went worldwide and they brought back lots of different souvenirs. So you'll see a wide collection of different uh, things that they brought back. So from snake skins and buffaloes, skulls and uh, figurines from Egypt. This was a time when people only went half an hour from home. These people went to the other side of the world and back. So the stories they brought back were very unusual and very exciting. This is a, an oil tank wagon. It's a half size. It was made just like the, the tank wagons that they used to haul the oil. Uh, they used it on the plank road that was built from Oil Springs right into Sarnia. And it was on an angle. All the other roads in uh, Lambton County are east and west, but this one was on an angle. All of the metal characters that you'll see around the fields, they were produced by a local welder, Murray Watson. He was assigned to make those by uh, Mr. Fairbank, Charlie Fairbank, to depict different scenes that would have been in the fields at that time. So he's taken different pictures from the past and recreated them in to making metal characters. This barrel was the first one made for Imperial Oil and that's how they shipped the oil at first. And this is the last one that they produced. Uh, it looks more like a drum. On the grounds you'll be able to see the jerker lines and they're still being used the same way as they did uh, in the early 1860s. Well, on our property we just have demonstration wells, but around the, the block you'll see still producing oil fields. There's still about five to six hundred producing oil wells in the area and there's about six different producers still using the same methods that they did in the 1860s which was the jerker lines and that's just a series of, of uh, wood rods connected to all each of the wells and in turn they are connected to a power source the powerhouse and uh, it is a series of wheels and pulleys that uh, produce the power from a, a small electric motor. This is another interesting item. It's a bulk oil uh, pump. And so if you, this would be at the gas station. And so if you wanted a pint of oil, you would take this and put it down in here and 
say you wanted a pint, so you would fill this up, take that out to your vehicle, and pour it right in. So that would work really well. There was lots of oil companies that uh, had their own oil, motor oil. Uh, you also see a, an early gas pump. So this worked a lot different than ours. So you would pump up the gasoline into the, the glass chamber and then it would come down. It would just drain into your vehicle. Van Tile and Fairbank hardware store. That was in Petrolia. There was also a, a satellite stores in Oil Springs and in Bothwell. In Fairbank, you'll notice the, the name there. Uh, he was uh, John Henry Fairbank that started the jerker line system. And he came to uh, Oil Springs uh, as a surveyor, but he uh, got the oil fever and he decided to drill wells while he was here. And he struck some very good wells. And after that, uh, they were using steam engines to pump those wells. And he connected a few and he started out making the jerker line system for the wells. And um, so now Charlie Fairbank, his great great grandson, he is still producing oil from those fields. John Henry moved to Petrolia and he opened up a lot of businesses there and uh, even a little red bank and a hardware store and wagon works and a refinery. And uh, so he built a mansion called Sunnyside and uh, they even had a ballroom on the third floor. We have a whole bunch of books. These are day books that were from the Van Tile and Fairbank hardware store. So they would write everything down, every purchase down and write it in a book every day. So there was piles, thick books there. Another important fact is we are trying to be a UNESCO World Heritage Site and we are in the process of being on the short list. You can find us at oilmuseum.ca online. Our phone number is 519-834-2840. We are in central Lambton, which is 30 minutes south of uh, Sarnia. We are open year-round from May until the end of October. We're open seven days a week. And then from November until May, we are open Monday to Friday. So we would love to have you come in and uh, check us out. Thanks for stopping by and thanks for watching. Bye.